Well guys, I have said it once and I will certainly say it a million more times on this channel, I absolutely love early first person shooters on the PC. Now I'm not sure if it's nostalgia, novelty, bad taste, or some weird combination of the three, but I just can't get enough. The last time I went on this kind of a tangent, I covered an anime inspired mecha shooter that flew under a lot of people's radar. So if I'm going to keep my street cred in the hipster community, I'm going to need to find another unpopular entry. So a beloved classic like 3D Realms Blood is definitely out of the question. It's a lesser known follow up however, is exactly the kind of game we love here. I'm Jared, and this is Trashed Classics. Yeah, let me tell you what, you didn't see anything, okay? Nothing at all. Just, just keep walking, you saw nothing. In the mid-90s, Duke Nukem 3D made the build engine a household name, and from this success spawned a huge number of first-person shooters using the little engine that could. At this point, the general rules of the genre hadn't really been established yet, and this gave these early shooters a very unique feel. In this competitive environment, a game lived and died by its concept, and whether or not it was odd enough to catch the public eye. From this strange brew, we got titles like Redneck Rampage, Hexen, and of course, the original Blood. This weird horror themed romp was dark, unique, well received and overall a blast to play. So it stands to reason that the following year developer Monolith would capitalize on its success. Blood 2 The Chosen hit store shelves towards the tail end of 1998 and thanks to the new Lithtech engine looks leaps and bounds better than its year old predecessor. At the start of the game you have a choice between Caleb, the protagonist from the original game and three other Chosen who have been resurrected. Now they all differ in how much hit points are available and little things like weapon accuracy, but choosing anyone other than Caleb will be missing out on the game's story, as he's the only one who gets his own cutscenes. I need to go with you. Find out what's going on. You're not my type. So let's say you've picked Caleb and you're ready to play. What can you expect? Well, Blood 2 is your typical late 90s FPS, which means it's tough as nails, fast moving, blood soaked, and I couldn't be happier. Even when you're rocking some of the best weapons in the game, enemies can still cut you down in seconds, so encounters become a game of constant motion and circle strafing. As soon as an enemy spots you, they'll immediately start filling you with lead, so you'll do well to start shooting first and asking questions later. After a little while, those of you who are well versed in early first person shooting will start to notice that the game feels very familiar. And this is because it's running on the same engine as another game I reviewed on this channel, Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Everything from the movement speed to the lighting effects and blood spray all seem to be lifted straight out of Shogo. And thanks to the added difficulty and melee based enemies, blood seems to put them all to better use. In Shogo, movement felt like it was taking place on an ice skating rink, and it seemed like Monolith built blood too around this fact. Walking into a room and filling a couple of unlucky people with golf ball sized holes feels great, and when blood too isn't kicking the shit out of you, it's likely making you feel like some kind of badass. Ah, oh, love American style. And now that I've mentioned difficulty, this is a perfect time to warn you that this game will hand you your ass in ways that you've never thought possible. Enemy shots will tear you down before you can figure out where they're shooting from, and the simple act of quick saving with low health can mean a mandatory restart of the game. But you should have figured that out around the same time that I mentioned this was a 90s FPS. Back then we liked our games tough and our install times long, so those of you who've grown tired of hand holding mechanics, waypoints and repetitive multiplayer in their first person shooters may want to check out this blast from the gaming past. I mean sure, it's harsh, immature, gory, violent, difficult and more than a little rough around the edges, but luckily these are all necessary components of a trashed classic. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me again, and I don't think I've officially said this yet, so welcome to 2016. If you fancy yourself a connoisseur of old first person shooters, maybe check out my reviews of Shogo Mobile Armor Division and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And if you're new to the channel, a quick click on that subscribe button will automatically enter you into a drawing to win a wink and a fedora tip from yours truly. So good luck, and may the best gender neutral other can win.